Hi. Today I wanted to offer a frame of reference, a reminder. Um, you may be experiencing heightened irritation, annoyances, frustrations, especially with the ones closest to you. You're spending a lot of time with uh, your closest people and again there might be an increase of irritability. And I want to offer again this, this reference point um, and it is to remember to have grace and generosity with one another. There's such a heightened level of stress and anxiety, as I've mentioned before, uh, and you know that you're going through it and the world is going through it. Uh, and so it's just, it's really important to remember that whoever's annoying you and frustrating you and driving you a little crazy is also experiencing that, right? Whether it's your kids or your partner or your friends, your family, um, there's a saying that goes, uh, before you judge someone, walk a mile in their shoes, right? So I did a little research to find out where that came from. And it's, uh, the, it's from a poet, Mary Lathrop, and she was a poet in the late 1800s. And she was a, she was a preacher, she was a suffragist. And I thought it would be maybe a good, again, reminder to read just a little bit of her poem today uh, to take with you as you struggle with some of the irritation that may be coming up in your life. Just walk a mile in his moccasins before you abuse, criticize, and accuse. If just for one hour, you could find a way to see through his eyes instead of your own muse. I believe you'd be surprised that you've been blind and narrow-minded and even unkind. Just for a moment, slip into his mind and traditions and see the world through his spirit and eyes before you cast a stone or falsely judge his conditions. Remember to walk a mile in his moccasins and remember the lessons of humanity taught to you by your elders. We will be known forever by the tracks we leave in other people's lives, our kindnesses and generosity. Take the time to walk a mile in his moccasins. Be kind to one another, hang in there, be well.